Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. My name is Suraj. Today in this presentation, we will talk about rule builder functionality introduced in Informatica 9.6.0. So agenda of this presentation is introduction to rule builder, introduction to its component, example, features and enhancement in rule builder uh, in Informatica 9.6.1. Starting from uh, Informatica 960 we have introduced rule builder functionality in analysis tool it is a feature that converts business logic into logical objects uh, which will analyze business data uh, its uh, analysis tool is generally is used to create a uh, rules it has components like rule specification rule sets rule statement input it can be compiled and converted into maplet that can be used in the mapping so now as I uh, as we discussed earlier uh, it has components like rule specification rule sets input and rule statement rule specification is an asset uh, that represent data requirement of business rule in the logical form you configure rule specification in design work workspace of analysis tool you compile a rule specification into metadata object called maplet that informatica developers can apply to business data uh, rule specification describes the uh, types of data that business data set contains it defines uh, a set of conditions that data must satisfy it defines the actions to take when data satisfies the condition it defines the actions to take when data fails to satisfy the condition it defines the order in which business rule evaluates the business data against the condition rule set it defines the logical flow of data through the rule specification use rule sets to add uh, data inputs to rule specification and to configure rule statement that will analyze or update the input data uh, it generally has rule families it can be configured with single rule statement or multiple rule statements <laughs> inputs input describes the column of data that rule statement will analyze you define an input in rule set uh, uh, the input represent a column in business data set the input can also contain data output from another rule set in the rule specification uh, basically when you define a rule you you will specify properties like uh, data type of data in the column uh, data type will could be date type float integer or sing and the maximum number of characters that value in the column can contain rule statement a rule statement is a if then statement that analyzes column of data and generates an output based on the result of analysis you add rule statement to the rule set a uh, rule statement uses condition and actions to define if then logic rule uh, here is the uh, component of the ru uh, rule specification uh, in the in the hexagon it's a rule specification um, basically uh, for rule specification it has one and only one primary rule set to which we can we can add number of rule sets as as I showed in the diagram primary rule set is a one to which we have added rule set one rule set two and rule set three as a child rule set primary rule set can also act on the result from this uh, child rule set so we will try to create a rule and uh, uh, analyze the data in the analysis tool in order to create a rule you need to go to new menu rule specification here in you need to enter rule specification name let's say test rule family you need to select project or the folder where you need to save the rule I have only one project so it will be uh, saved in this folder by default again you need to click on save so immediately it will prompt you with the rule specification and primary rule set so you can you can rename rule specification from here again if you want to rename primary rule set you can do so by going by clicking on the primary rule set and here you need to rename this uh, same if you look at this you can click here in order to add rule sets as a child rule set to the pa primary rule set also you can add child rule set to the uh, 
child rule set or primary rule set likewise you can create a family of rule set here like this like this so if one doesn't want to have the rule set which he just added he can select this rule set and he can go here as if it is not a child rule set so all the other child's of that rule set which you will delete will be gone so from uh, if you want to add input to this rule set you select this rule set here is the input tab you go on adding the rule set here you can configure a logic here you need to select input operators are uh, different operators are provided from which you can select according to business logic if you select is then here are number of conditional functions if you select any of if you select function you can you can select any of this function here and you can design your business logic uh, likewise you can add a and condition here you need to go here you click here and here it will show you the and condition and you can act on this so if one doesn't want to have this rule uh, statement you can delete this rule statement from here so for the ex f as an example I have the rule statement created already so here is the rule specification which I have created basically in this rule specification I have a uh, final result is my primary rule set whereas rule set 1 and rule set 2 are my child rule sets to the final rule set uh, final underscore result rule set I have taken input as integer for the rule set 1 and as a string for rule set 2 in rule set 1 I have written the condition rule statement as if the age is greater than is equal to 21 then it's valid age if it is less than 21 it's the invalid age likewise in rule set 2 uh, if I have written the rule logic like a rule statement like if driving test result is passed then the valid result if the driving test result is failed then invalid result here in final rule final uh, underscore result rule space uh, statement rules uh, set I have written a condition like I have not taken any input as we I'm going to act on the uh, output given by this child rule set so the condition is like if the rule set is valid age I have added and condition here and the rule set is valid test then this person is eligible if the rule set is not valid as it is not eligible if the rule set is not valid test 2 is not valid test the person is not eligible if you go here it will be validated and if it contains any error those will be reflected here and if you go here if you compile it will prompt you for the direct uh, project or folder where you need to save the maplet and after the process it will create a maplet which developer can use in the mapping so this rule can be applied during the profile so we'll try to create a profile and we will we will see how it will be used so I have a sample data here which will basically uh, contains age and the driving test result which could be pass or fail here we will try to rename the profile that is it should be driver result column had uh, two inputs for 
21 and 2 inputs for 19 similarly driving underscore test column had uh, 2 inputs for passed and 2 uh, fields as failed so we will try to edit this profile and apply the rule that I have created here so we need to click here apply rules we need to uh, select the prime rule specification from here here is the rule specification add we need to select column here save and run so if uh, if we look at the result uh, it says three persons are not eligible and only one person is eligible if you do drill down here it shows the actual result if this person is not eligible because uh, his driving test is failed this person is not eligible because nine his age is 19 which is less than 21 so likewise here his age is 19 along with the driving test result is failed but if you look at the eligible candidate he has the age 21 along with he has driving test as passed so uh, similarly we can we can design a rule and we can apply them we can create a maplet and we can use them in a mapping or we can apply those rule during the creation of profile so that we can analyze data according to our requirement and now we will talk about the enhancement that has been made in Informatica 961 so first enhancement that we introduce is the inline editing of simple conditions basically in 9.6 user has to open condition or action dialog to add even a single null check but in 9.6.1 simple condition or action actions can be configured in lines like null or constraint so benefit is that it makes it quicker or easier to configure simple rules second is testing individual rule families so in 9.6 entire rule set was tested uh, we, we cannot test a part or past or part of rule while creating a larger rule but in 9.6.1 user can test individual rule families or entire uh, sub tree of the rule family or higher branches of rule set could be invalid or configured like this so third one is the rule test data can be copied from external editors like excel so when we save a rule specification this data will be pers persisted so we need not to enter this data again and again and last one is the re reorder or uh, reordering of the condition statement in the rule families so uh, it was not permitted in 9.6 to re reorder the condition statements in rule family so we need to delete these conditions uh, if you want to change the order but in 9.6.1 we can move this condition uh, rule statement up or down we need not to delete them I would like to hear uh, from you you can mail us at support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet at https colon double slash twitter.com slash informatica infosupport thank you